The Blues are a brotherhood, and the deadly crash has devastated the team, including former Blue Angels who once served on the elite flight demonstration team. News 5's Pat Peterson is live at the Perdido Bay on the Alabama-Florida line, which is one of several spots on the Gulf Coast to watch the Blues practice. Pat, I understand you talked to a former Blue Angel about the crash. How is he handling the tragedy? Uh, he's not doing very well uh, tonight, Mel. Retired Senior Chief Petty Officer Steve Massey was emotional and struggled to get through our interview. And even though Massey did not know the pilot who lost his life, this former Blue Angel is heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Retired Senior Chief Petty Officer and former Blue Angel Steve Massey held back tears as he mm -hmm. talked to us about the tragedy in Tennessee. Oh, it's one big family. And anything that happens, like just what happened yesterday, <laughs> Hang on. It's tough, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I didn't realize it was going to hit me quite like that when I said it. Massey, who was a senior advisor for the Blues from 1988 to 92, was in charge of career counseling, communications, and support for the 135-member flight demonstration team. As once a Blue Angel, always a Blue Angel. The retired senior chief says Captain Coos will be remembered as a hero. He avoided any kind of uh, total tra tragedy, as such as hitting a house or something like this, or a shopping center, which was heavily populated in the area that he was in. He's nothing but a hero. He just couldn't get out, and the unfortunate thing was that he just didn't make it, and we're all saddened by it. Massey, who now lives in Nevada, is visiting family on the Gulf Coast this week. Massey watched the Blues practice the day before the disaster. It was just like I was almost back on the team again, because that's something that you never, ever lose. It's, uh, you know, the sound of freedom. <laughs> Mm. The former Blue Angel says he'll grieve and pray for the pilot's family and for the Blues Brotherhood, which runs deep. It was an honor for me to be in the Blue Angels, and it is something that is embedded forever in my, my heart. And Mel and Roseanne, as you mentioned at the top of the show, photographer Randy Lowe and I were able to capture the Blues returning from Tennessee at the top of our 5 o'clock newscast. Randy is showing you where they came in. They came in right on top of us, flew across Perdido Bay right there, hung south, and then curved back to the east. And NAS Pensacola is about five or six miles to our east. And that's where our colleague Emily picked up the Blues as they landed back home. Reporting live from Perdido Bay, Pat Peterson. News 5.